in space, illness or injury near the lungs can occur and cause the lungs to fill with fluid, leading to suffocation. Although the probability of a pneumothorax or a pleural effusion occurring on Earth is only 0.34%, when you take into account the costs of sending one astronaut into space, which is approximately $70 million, there is an effective possible loss of $200,000 if an astronaut were to die or be severely injured from an event that could have been prevented by a chest tube drainage system. The existing three-bottle chest tube drainage system on Earth will not work without gravity, as the wet seal system relies on gravity to separate chest fluid from air and prevent backflow. Therefore, our team has devised a vacuum-based system to create negative pressure to suction out the unwanted fluid from the lungs. Moreover, our solution will be compact, reusable, and user-friendly. Our current prototype for the zero-gravity chest tube drainage system consists of a 2,000 milliliter main chamber that connects via medical tubing to the patient on one side and to a vacuum pump on the other side. It relies on the vacuum pump to provide the necessary negative pressure at a constant 4 millimeters of mercury, which is what is required to reinflate the lungs and drain chest fluid. However, since the vacuums on the International Space Station are not equipped to handle liquids or biohazards, the chamber of our device is packed with sponges to filter and trap the lung fluid and tissue, while still allowing air to be pulled through to create the negative pressure required. In addition to the sponges, the prototype includes a sodium polyacrylate powder in between the two layers of sponge, which will expand upon contact with water. This serves as a barrier for the fluid from entering into the vacuum, as well as a clog that will stop the suctioning of fluid when the device has reached maximum capacity. When this or any other clogging occurs, a pressure alarm in the form of an LED light will go off. With our device, astronauts can freely explore space knowing that if an incident were to occur, they could be safe.